hey guys and welcome back in this video we shall see how to install the latest version of ubuntu on virtualbox so the latest version of ubuntu at the time of making this video is 23.10 which is not the lts version and uh, virtualbox is a virtualization software which allows you to use multiple operating system on your host computer so let's say you have one host computer which is running windows operating system now using this virtual box you can download and install multiple operating system over the top of your windows operating system first of all we have to download the oracle virtual box as well as ubuntu so just open your browser and then just search for oracle virtual box and hit enter now in the result you can see this is the link downloads just click on it now from here you can just click on this windows host if you are using windows computer if you are using mac or linux you will have to click on the respective links and the virtual box download is going to start like this then open a new tab and uh, i want you to search for ubuntu now from the result i want you to click here on download ubuntu desktop this is the download page for the ubuntu desktop operating system and if you scroll down you can see it from here that the latest lts version is 22.04.3 which is the long term support version which means it's going to get guaranteed updates and support till april 2027 and this is the ubuntu 23.10 which is the latest version and it is going to get updates till july 2024 and the system requirement for uh, 23.10 and 22.04 lts is same that is you are going to need 2 gigahertz dual core processor or better 4 gb of system memory at least 25 gb of free hard disk space anyways then just click on download and uh, let your ubuntu image download now once the virtual box as well as the ubuntu has been downloaded you can open your download folder or wherever you have downloaded them now let's start by installing the virtual box so just right click on it and then click on run as administrator click on yes then click on next now this is the location where your virtual box is going to be installed and when you are creating the virtual machines at that time you will be given the option to select location where you want to save those virtual machines so this location right now this one is just for the installation of the software then click on next and then click on yes then again click on yes click on install click on finish then the oracle virtual box manager is going to open up like this and uh, you can see this ubuntu 23.04 because i had created virtual machine previously and i did not delete the virtual machine that's why it is still showing here but anyways we are going to create a new virtual machine so you can just click on machine you can use the add button if you want to add an existing machine but since we are going to create a new one so click here on new now you have to give a name to your ubuntu machine so i'll just write ubuntu 23.10 and uh, this is the folder where your virtual machine is going to be saved now if you want to change it you can just click on this arrow then click on other and then you can scroll to the location where you want to save your virtual machine i'll just change the folder quickly all right then iso image here we have to select the iso of the ubuntu that we have downloaded so just click here on arrow click on other then scroll to the location where you have downloaded the ubuntu 23.10 and then click on open all right then choose type as linux and version as ubuntu 64 bit then click here on skip unattended installation all right then click on hardware tab like this now from here you can allocate as much ram as you want i'll just make it around 6 gb 
all right but make sure that when you are allocating ram to your virtual machine you stay well within this red area don't try to cross this area if you allocate too much of your hardware resource to your virtual machine your host computer is going to suffer so since my computer is having 16 gb of ram that's why i can safely allocate 6 gb and then processor i want to allocate at least 4 since there are 12 logical cores present on my computer so i can allocate 4 logical cores all right then tap on hard disk and then from here you have to choose create a virtual hard disk now and then you have to select the amount of hard disk space that you want to allocate 25 gb is recommended if you want to allocate more than that you can go ahead and do that but at least keep it 25 gb let it be on virtual box disk image and then click on finish all right now you can see your virtual box 23.10 has been created here if you want to check more about your virtual machine you can click on it and then click on settings now you can just click on system and then from here you can untick floppy processor is already 4 so we don't have to change anything else click on display now here you can increase this video memory to the maximum allowed here that is 128 mb and then you can just click on ok and then finally you can start your virtual machine like this now from here you have to choose try or install ubuntu press enter then after that this is the first window that you will be taken to where you have to choose your language and then tap on next now from here you can choose either to install or try if you try ubuntu it will be in the live mode so any change that you do to the operating system will not be retained anyways we'll just install ubuntu for now click on next then from here you have to choose the keyboard layout now for the internet you just let it be on use wired connection and then click on next then if you also get an update like this you can click on update once it is done you'll have to restart the installer so just click on it so i'll just quickly do that now now after that you'll have to choose what kind of installation do you want if you want the default installation it's going to install just the essentials and the web browser and the basic utilities and if you do a full installation it's going to install an offline friendly selection of office tools utilities web browsers and games so it's it's a big package and uh, also tick mark install third party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware and also download and install support for additional media formats if you have plenty of time and a good internet connection then do a full installation with these two options ticked and then click on next now you have to choose whether you want to do a manual partitioning or you can just erase disk and install ubuntu if you want to create multiple partitions you can click here on manual partitioning and then click on next then from here you can see this is the virtual hard disk that has been created for your ubuntu then you can click on free space then you can click on plus and then choose the type of the file system and then choose the amount of space you want to allocate to this drive then you can click on ok and in this way you can create multiple partitions but anyways since my drive is empty and it is a virtual drive i don't want to create multiple partitions so just click on previous and then tap on erase disk and install ubuntu then you can click on next then click on install now you have to choose your time zone depending upon the place where you are right now then click on next then you have to set up your account by entering your name computer's name username and password i'll just quickly do that now if you don't want to enter password every time you log in you can turn this off otherwise let this be on for security reasons then tap on next then you can choose the theme that you want to use on your operating system whether you want it on light or you want it on dark this is the dark version it looks better than the light 
but anyways you can change these appearance or the themes later after you complete the installation so just click on next and then finally the installation is going to begin so just sit back and let it finish now once the installation is complete you can click on restart now then just hit enter all right then click on your user enter the password hit enter now before you can start using your guest operating system there are few things that need to be taken care of like if you want to connect any online account to your guest operating system you can do that from here otherwise just click on skip then help improve ubuntu if you want to send your system information to canonical you can let it be on this option and then click on next then location service i'll let it be on off then click on next now there are some updates available for my operating system i'll do that but let's check out the application first so now you can use your app center to install these applications let's open app center now depending upon the type of application that you want on your operating system you can download them from here for example if you want to look for development applications like sublime text or visual code postman notepad plus plus android studio all of these applications are available here so you can directly download them from here in the same way if you want to play some games you can check them out from games tab and uh, let's close this now and let's click on done now this is the desktop for your ubuntu 23.10 and uh, on the left we have the firefox web browser then we have the thunderbird mail which is similar to microsoft outlook then we have files you can browse through all the folders and directories using this application then we have libra office writer something like the microsoft word then we have the app center help software updater then trash let's check out the update that was notified earlier and i'll just install it now now once the updates are installed you can choose to restart now or you can just restart later then on the left side you can see this small button if you click on it you can see the different desktop that you have set since i have only one so both of them are looking similar and then at the bottom left corner we have show apps just click on it and then you can see all the applications that are present on your operating system right now you can click here and you can check out the rest of them and uh, you can click on settings now using settings you can personalize your operating system the way you want it to be you can see that internet is already connected from my host computer bluetooth i don't think we can use bluetooth until and unless we use an external bluetooth adapter then if you click on appearance you can personalize the way ubuntu looks so if you don't like the dark version you can click on the default one it's a light theme or you can choose the dark theme and then you can choose the different wallpapers that are available like this or you can choose different picture if you have your own picture you want that one to be on the wallpaper you can do that from here then let's check out ubuntu desktop from here you can choose the size of the desktop icons i like my icons to be large so i'll just let it be on large then you can choose the position of these icons right now it's on the bottom right if you want it to look like windows you can make it to arrange on top left and then if you want to show the personal folder you can let that be from here this is the dock on the left side which is similar to the taskbar that we have on windows if you want it to auto hide you can turn this one on or you can let it be visible like this then the panel mode the dock extends to the screen edge now if you don't want the dock to extend till the edge and you want it to be as big as it needs to be because of the icons that it has then you can turn this one off or you can turn this one on to have one edge to edge dock like this and then you can change the size of the icons in the dock like this if you want them to be big you can do that from here and then 
if you have multiple displays connected to your computer then you can choose whether you want to show the dock on all of them or on just the primary display then position on screen if you want it to be on the bottom the way we have on windows you can do that as well but i prefer it to be on the left then some more settings that you can go through then we have notifications we have the search box multitasking this is something you can turn on hot corner touch the top left corner to open the activities overview and then active screen edges drag windows against the top left and right screen edges to resize them for example i'll just click and drag this window you can see it, how it works and then you can check out the rest of these settings like sound power display now coming under display you may want to change the resolution of your operating system so let's make it 1920 by 1080 which is the full hd resolution and then let's apply just click on keep changes in the earlier versions of virtualbox we needed to install the guest edition to get the full screen display but in the newer versions we don't have to do that we just we can directly change the resolution from here and uh, to get rid of these scroll bars you'll have to click here on this view on the menu bar and then click on full screen mode like this now we have a perfect full screen here and if you want to increase the font size you can change the scale from here click on this fractional scaling and then you can click on 125 click on apply and the font size has increased let's change the resolution again click on apply click on keep changes now it looks much better you click on about you can see it's the 23.10 latest version of ubuntu this is my processor and this is the ram that i had allocated if you check out the system details you can check out the kernel version that is 6.5.0 hyphen 17 let's close this one and let's close this and uh, if you click here you can check out that our internet connection is wired this is the power mode it's currently on the balance you click on it it will change to power saver you click on it again then it becomes balanced and this is the theme that we have selected you can click on this button for power off or restart then this button is going to lock your operating system then this one is for settings this is for screenshot you can take screenshot of the part of the window or you can take entire screen like this and also you can record videos if you click on this record screen button then after that you can use this button to start recording your window once you're done with that you can click here and stop it and then finally it shows your battery percentage if you click on it it's going to open your power settings so that's all for this video i hope you learned how to install the latest version of ubuntu and also how to make it full screen so don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching